Hello Hope at Gaming, my name is FireForever26 and I'm here to bring you a quick tutorial on how to use the Hubbit Army watermark in the editing software of iMovie if you're a Mac user like myself. So the first thing you want to do is after you've downloaded the Hubbit Army watermark is you want to click on it in your downloads and click on show and finder and then you want to click and drag it to somewhere where you're going to know where it's at. I'm going to click and drag it to my desktop and then I'm going to come over here and open iMovie. Alright now once iMovie loads you want to go to file new project name the project whatever you want to call it I'm going to call it Huppet uh, I'm going to click create right now that you've created a new project you should go up to file import and then click on movies here now on the desktop here you want to click on the Huppet Army overlay wherever you or saved it to at you want to either add it to an existing event or create a new event if you don't have any events and then click on import Right now that uh, iMovie has finished processing the importing of the watermark, what you want to do is take your clips that you have and drag them down to your timeline down here. And then you want to select the whole watermark here and then click and drag that down on top of your uh, clips here. So I'm going to, let's see here, drag it down there, wait for the spinning wheel of death. Alright, then after it pops up here, it should pop up this little menu here. If it does not pop up with this menu, I'm going to hit cancel. Uh, you'll want to go to or you want to go to iMovie and preferences and make sure that show advanced tools is selected. Alright, so I'm going to click on this again, drag it down, put it over my video game clip here, and then click on cutaway. And after you've clicked on cutaway, you want to adjust this around so make sure it's all fine and dandy here. And then you want to after you, you notice that uh the clip here is actually covering uh, your video game clip, and in my case, my search and destroy game that I had on Carnival last night. So what you want to do is click on the watermark itself, double click on it, and then you'll see this opacity slider bar right here. It's right now it's at 100%, and that's why the screen over here is black. So what you want to do is drag the slider all the way down. I find it helpful to be around between 50 and 40%, I should say 40 and 50%. So once you've done that, now you see that the uh, watermark is clearly in place here along with you can clearly see your video game uh, clips here and that's how you uh, add the watermark to uh, your video game clips in iMovie guys so I uh, hope you enjoyed the tutorial if you have any questions or comments be sure to leave a comment below and thanks for watching again